Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darth Raz, and today I'll be showing you how you can obtain enough battle points for multiple heroes in a single match. In this method, we will be using ATSDs, and because of how broken it is, I'm sure we will see an ATSD nerf soon. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to support the channel, as I have a ton more content on the way showing you how to dominate the battlefront. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get to the point. In this video, I'm playing on Moss Isley map, but this method works pretty much on any map that has ATSTs. So what you'll want to do is try to get enough battle points playing the objective or getting kills as quickly as possible, and spawn as an ATST immediately. I'm using the officer class to do this because I believe it is the best class for ranking up battle points because of its broken point system. I'll make a video on the officer build that I'm using, so if you want to see that, leave a comment below and I'll get to working on that. So now that you have spawned as an ATSD, you'll want to rush the objective as quickly as you can. Quick tip, you can run with the ATSD, but you'll have to hold down the run button or the thumbstick, and you can only run straight forward to the direction you are facing, unlike infantry. Try to clear the objective of as many enemies as possible, and when you feel it's safe, rush as far forward towards enemy lines as you can without going into out of bounds. I find it is best to get as far on the left or right flank as you can, and camp the enemy spawn. Since the ATSD has such high health and kills infantry quite quickly, you will be relatively safe. But here are some pro tips to maximize your run. Overheating the ATSD's main blaster causes a ridiculous cooldown time, so right before you overheat, be sure to let go of the fire and your cooldown will be much faster. The main blaster also has an area of effect, or AOE, so if your enemy tries to hide behind cover, you can blast the ground next to them and you will still deal a ton of damage. The grenade barrage is very great for clusters or groups of enemies, so launch them when you aren't facing only one or two enemies. It's also a great backup for when your main blaster is cooling down. The missile rocket is amazing at taking out enemy vehicles, so save it for that instead of infantry. It has a homing effect so you can launch it at X-Wings, A-Wings, Speeders, and RTSDs. Finally, the ATST has two major weaknesses that I found. The rear of the ATST is a weak spot that if shot at takes increased incoming damage, so always face away from enemies and don't turn your back to them if you need to retreat and recover health. Secondly, the heavy class's ion turn does devastating damage if left unchecked, so be sure to destroy them first even if it means passing up a few kills. Following these tips, I managed to get up to 14,000 battle points, enough for an 8,000 battle point and 6,000 battle point hero, and it wasn't very hard. Even the most mediocre players will be able to take advantage of this method, so if you are having a hard time getting heroes, be sure to give this a try. Alright guys, there you have it. Let me know in the comments how it works for you, as I'm sure this will be nerfed soon. Also, let me know who is your favorite hero to play as in Galactic Assault. Don't forget to subscribe for more How to Dominate videos. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, may the force be with you.
secure. The rebels are retreating deeper into the settlement. Maintain fire. Maintain pursuit. The rebel evacuees are heading for the docks while their soldiers bog us down in street by street fighting. Clever. Seize their rally points at the auction house and bazaar. I'm pretty much dead. 
Additional forces will sort the mess, but we're finished with this place. 